talking about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is actually one of my favorite holidays. I think it's a great holiday that we have. And I think it's a very, very biblical holiday, even though it's not established in the Bible as being a specific day or a specific holiday that you set aside to um, give thanks and everything. But it's very, very biblical in nature. And that's one of the reasons why I love my, my favorite holidays are the ones that have to do with the Bible. I love Christmas. I love Easter. And, you know, I'm not going to get into all the other stuff that people talk about, pagan backgrounds. Up. I love celebrating the birth of Christ. I love celebrating the fact that Jesus Christ was born into this world, the man Jesus Christ. I, I love that, and I love celebrating that. I love the fact that he rose again from the dead. And I'm glad that we take time out of the year, every single year, to celebrate those things. That's what I love about those holidays. And what I love about Thanksgiving is how biblical and scriptural it is, and um, what it ought to be, at least. It's not always what it is in practice. But this is what we want to strive for. This is what we want to focus on. And I want to help you to be focused on the right things this year. It's easy to get distracted with, with the, the anxiety or the stress that comes along with having a big day. Maybe you're having people, hosting people at your house and getting people together. It can be very stressful. But I don't want any, no one should get overwhelmed and miss the whole point and miss the big picture of what Thanksgiving is all about. It's not about the preparation of the food. It's not about having everything in order. And if there's something that's not clean or straightened up, then the whole day is ruined. You're missing the point. <laughs> Thanksgiving is about being thankful for all that the Lord has blessed you with. And this concept of being thankful, we're going to go over this and make sure, because this isn't something that you need to be just on one day a year, is having a thankful attitude. Okay, we need to have this, this ingrained in us every single day. We ought to be thankful and not become spoiled, little, rotten brats like we see in the story here with the children of Israel. And we're going to go into this story a little bit more. I think sometimes we could understand how we're supposed to act and how we're supposed to behave when we look at examples of how you're not supposed to act and, how, and what's completely wrong. We can learn what's right from looking at the opposite. So the opposite of thankfulness is what? Ungratefulness, complaining, murmuring. And that's what we see a lot of that in this story. And to be honest with you, in a country that we live in today that has been so extremely blessed in overabundance. It is so much the more important that we have the right attitude and the right spirit and we don't gain this entitlement sensibility of we just deserve all of this stuff because we're so great. And that we keep ourselves humble. If you were here last week, you remember I preached on pride. And how devastating that sin is and how toxic it is. And if you can get this down about being thankful, that's going to keep you from getting proud. Because it's the proud person that's not thankful for what they have because they think they got everything themselves and that it's all by their own power. Just being thankful for something implies that you are demonstrating that someone else did something for you that you didn't get on your own. That's what being thankful is. You're, you're, you're demonstrating that, hey, I didn't do this, so I'm going to show thanks to this person who helped me or this person who did something to me or this, you know, or God who gave me everything, who gave me the abilities who have, who gave me the opportunities to do the things that I do or to have whatever it is that I possess. My family, my, my shelter, my food, my clothing, whatever, whatever these things are that God has blessed you with just showing that we are giving regard to the Most High and anyone else around us that has helped us along the way and being thankful for that and being very appreciative for what we have.